name is Danielle Cover Rubias. I am an ESL teacher at Bird Middle School. My favorite part of the school day is interacting with the students, just them sharing their personal, uh, sometimes stories, experiences, the way that they can make me laugh when I'm not having the best of days, but they can always somehow make me have a better day. Um, my educational philosophy is just to make students feel safe um, and not necessarily that they have to be an expert at everything that we're learning, but just that when they come in, that they come out growing or learning something that they didn't before. Hi, my name is Eric Hammond. I'm a social studies teacher at Bird Middle School, and I teach the Texas History Content. I, I believe in them. I believe, despite your background, despite you know what you think your abilities are academically, I believe in you. I believe you can achieve success and, and, and do great things to help you become the best you can be. Hi, I'm Tasha Floyd Jones, eighth grade science teacher at Kennebra Middle School STEAM Academy. Um, the favorite part of my day is anytime a kid has a aha moment. It, it doesn't have to be my student, it could be me passed in the hall and they say something and I give them an answer and they're like, oh my gosh, that's right. So that's the favorite part of my day, just seeing those light bulbs go off. Hi, my name is Shay Hopkins. I am an eighth grade ELAR teacher at Kennemer Middle School. First, I make sure that I build meaningful connections. I make sure that our relationship is solid, that it's bonded, that they feel safe with me, and that they trust me enough to just go about their day-to-day -day life with their issues, their problems, their educational concerns, their academic concerns, just knowing that they can lean on me. So that gives me the push to know that I need to make sure that I'm doing every step possible to ensure that they are successful by any means necessary, not just inside of the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. Hello, everyone. My name is Coach Marvin Lofton. I am a special education science inclusion teacher at Reed Middle School. I think my students are successful because I take time to build relationships with them and actually have real life conversations with my students. In reality, our students are really looking for people that they can relate to. I believe um, that it's very, very important for us to try to try to build those relationships and make sure that they're meaningful making sure that our kids know that we love and care about them because they're not going to care about what we know until they know that we care about them. Hello, my name is Coach Zeno. I teach U.S. History and uh, coach football and track at Reed Middle School. I got to give them the necessary tools to be able to process a lot of the information that they have. They have it at their fingertips. They got it in their cell phone. We one to one now. And you don't, if you don't know how to uh, break it down and put it in order, it could be overwhelming. And um, if I can give them the necessary tools of how to break down that information and how to process that information and put it into chunks that they can understand to get to, I mean, whatever they want to do, whether it be, be college or a trade, uh, whatever it takes for them to be successful, then that's my part. That's my job. I am Medium Espinosa. I am AP Spanish Lang and AP Spanish Literature teacher at the Duncan Hill High School. My students want to, I, I want my students to shine every day for every answer, every um, thing that we do in the classroom. I want them to feel like they have accomplished from the moment they come into the classroom to the moment they leave. I want them to feel that they are the stars in my classroom. Hi, I'm Sarah Ogle. I'm an English 2 teacher for Duncanville High School. Uh, my philosophy summed up is challenge but support. So whether I am working with teachers that I'm mentoring or students that I am instructing, it's always challenge but support because part of learning is failure. That is how we learn, that's how we get better, we make mistakes and we learn from it. So I challenge and then I'm there for that layer of support when they do potentially fail or question their abilities. And so I help my students on their journey, they help me grow as an educator on my own journey. Hello, I'm Suzanne Riddlesberger brown I am a teacher at Duncanville High School as well as the department chair for the business department. The first thing I do to make sure my students shine is to communicate with them and find out what it is they need to shine. Every student needs something different. It's not the, the um, cookie cutter learning is of the past. So I make sure I understand what each student needs um, and try not to lose some in the cracks Hi, I'm Vanessa Zeno, and I am a science teacher at Duncanville High School. I let them know that they are cared about, regardless of how successful they are in my class. I care about them as a whole, 
I want you, I want my students to know that uh, they are important no matter what. Hi, I'm Missy Piña and I am a Spanish teacher at Pace High School. From day one, from the moment they walk into my classroom, even if they transfer in the middle of the semester and things like that, I just make sure that they, they understand that I genuinely care about who they are, what they're going through, where they come from, where they want to go, because that, that relationship is reflected on how much trust they give you and how willing they be to take a, uh, help from you in case they do need it. And also it reflects on their work because sometimes, even if they don't, they're not feeling their best, they just know that they're in my classroom. They, they are a bit more productive than if they were in your class. Hello, my name is Ms. Fernandez. I am an instructional coach at the Summit Education Center. I get to, when they come into the Summit, my job is to get them acquainted academically and behavior-wise and what we do, and I just meet them where they're at. I prepare them while they're here to practice on those things that behavior and academically, and then get them ready to transition so they're a new version of themselves.